This weekend, the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension held a garden tour. We are going to speak to Deborah Woodland. We had a garden tour. It consisted of six gardens, triple digit uh, rec record heat. Couldn't believe it. We had over 115 people show up at one of the gardens. There were six gardens, which included the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension Garden Tour. There was quite a variety of gardens that belonged to the individuals, a part of the Master Garden program. They were all master gardeners. They uh, had in in garden beds. They had raised beds. Uh, Frank had uses that reflective film, mm -hmm. but it was just such a nice variety of different types of garden. There's just no one way to do it. The key to this garden tour is to find out how people are doing and what kind of techniques they have learned and tested. Some of the gardeners also have plenty of tips that they'd like to share. And it's just being able to ask those master gardeners what's worked for them and what hasn't worked. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the different irrigation, uh, it's just a very educational uh, tour that we do. And in fact, we have another one plan. Our fall tour, mm -hmm. it's going to be October 19th. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, have different gardens uh, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Instead, they will be fall gardens. So people can see how to prepare their garden, what will plant, how to take care of it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna, you're going to see a transition of the summer vegetables going out and planting of the new fall vegetables. There's a reasonable price for the garden tour as well. It'll be $3. Again, it'll be a self-guided tour, but we're also going to add something else. Okay. Uh, the next day, the following day, we're going to have a Know Your Farmer. We're going to ask the vendors at Farmer's Market to open up their gardens so people at Farmer's Market can go over there to their gardens and see where, how the plants are grown. This is all a part of the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension Program. For more information, may people contact you? Yes, uh, our number is 775-727-5532. For more information, stop by at their office on Calvada and Dandelion, or give Deborah Woodland a call. I'm Jennifer Moots with News 46.